Hello guys, and, t and today I'm going to cook a meal from a pasta book co called the Essential Pasta Cookbook, okay? And this was, um, book was produced, I use, I've used this book a lot in the past, okay? And this said, it says that it was first printed in 1997, okay? And, um, it's published by Murdoch Books, and I have shown this, you this book before somewhere. I'm going to go straight to the recipe. And the recipe is called Pen with Chicken and Mushrooms. Okay, but it's a bit more than that, okay? Um, I've not used quite a lot of these ingredients before. And I'm going to show you briefly the ingredients now. This is something called chicken fire fillets. Now this is surprising because I've had chicken fires before, but never as but never filleted. Instead, I'd, I'd have had um, chicken breast. So why they want fires, I've no idea. They recommend chicken fires for some reason. Why I've no idea. Maybe they're thinking they're trying to save you money. It might have actually cost me more to do this, but never mind. Some people think the fires have more taste. I don't know. The breast is supposed to be the best, but anyway. There you go. I got exactly what they said. Chicken fire fillets. Also, they wanted some mushrooms. There's probably more than I need, but nonetheless, I couldn't get... Normally, I would get them individually. I couldn't. So I had to get them as a pack. This was the cheapest way I could get it, them, truthfully. And it says they're hand-picked. I mean... Well, how else would they pick them? I mean, you know, really. But anyway, um, as well as that, I'm supposed to use Parmesan cheese. But it costs a lot. So I'm, I've actually got something called Pecorino. I doubt there's much of a difference. And basically, when it's all grated, it looks the same. Also, it says made in Italy. So I think this might just be a cheaper equivalent of Parmesan, to be honest with you. Right. Um, as well as that, I also try to get some um, prosciutto slices. Now, this is a problem I had. Um, I could get either the um, very stale but supposedly good um, slices, which is what I actually got. Even though these are actually in date, I want to make this very clear, these are actually in date officially. Or, I could have got the um, more expensive, what looked like fresher um, ham, which was actually more, even more expensive, okay? For it to be called pro prosciutto. Now, there are two types, I didn't know which it was, and it's not even mentioned specifically in the, um, in the recipe. I might have to look very deep in the book and read lots of chapters, and I can't be bothered at the moment. This is what I've got. No, this is not me doing a special. This is not a cliff special. This is not I put this in the fridge and left it alone for 10 months. No, this is what they did. They brag about the fact that this is 10 months old meat. I'm not even joking. Um, selected pork leg, traditionally dry cured, for at least 10 months. It's it's um, basically um, ten months old meat apparently. God knows how they do that, but anyway, um, maybe it's some strange Italian thing. I have no idea. Anyway, so I will be adding that as well. And obviously, I've got some pasta here. Um, this is called pen. That's what pen looks like. If anybody doesn't know.
and um, also uh, you, I needed some tomato puree because if one even I threw out in the end because it was just too manky after about being two years out of date it was just too much so even though I tried enough was enough and tried a little bit so I've got some new tomato puree but this is the bit it's got garlic in it this one's got garlic in it so it's got a hint of garlic now the recipe requires garlic so I'm not going to put any garlic in, I'm going to put this in, I'm going to assume there's enough garlic in here to compensate for the fact I'm not going to put any garlic in, right? So, also, I have um, an onion, I'll be using an onion, I'll be chopping that up, and I've also got some... Um, tomatoes as well it says one tomato but because this is a small tomato i'm going to use two i think okay right now there are other things like oil and butter and wine and cream but i'm 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 not going to bother showing them right now i mean i'm i think you know what cream looks like and wine looks like probably so you'll know it when you see it okay so that guys is most of the ingredients the rest you'll see later okay right so now i'm going to start doing some preparation work on it okay and then i will start to cook it okay right now i'm going to show you some ingredients i've got some but some butter well, it's not really butter margarine which is just like butter now unfortunately it does say um, not suitable for cooking. It says not suitable for cooking or baking, but I'm afraid I have no choice. Wait a minute, where is it? Take my word for it, it says not suitable for baking or cooking. But I'm afraid I have absolutely no choice. It's all I've got at the moment, so I'll just put a little bit in. I have some olive oil, which I tell you to use. This, I've actually got a new bottle because, um, although I'm not sure how new it really is. But anyway, it's a massive because I got this a while ago. Um, it is in date, so don't worry. And I'm going to take the top off. I just used it um, the other up. Um, so... They have a pull ring in here. So just pull this out like that. And then I can pour it out later. Uh, there's also some cream. Now this has already been opened because some of it has gone to my mum to be used. So this is what's left. I don't, I just did not pour it too much because always it'll start bringing out and I don't want a mess everywhere so there you go there's less than I actually should have but it'll have to do so my mum had a lot of it um and I'm finishing it off so some of it's slightly out of date it's not too much out of date but it'll be good enough for cooking so don't worry once it's been cooked it'll be fine um and so I think um let's much everything think yep only things like salt and pepper and I think you know I think it says that add um salt and pepper and I think you know what that looks like well you won't but you will just have to take my word for it okay there's only things like salt and pepper that you I haven't shown you but I'll be obvious when I do it okay So apart from salt and pepper, guys, I think that's all the ingredients. Okay, I'm sure I'll look at that later. Saying that, but so now the next stage is just to prepare everything, and then once I've done that, um, then I can start cooking it. Okay. Now you're supposed to cook it while you prepare. I think you can prepare it while you cook it, but. Um, because I'm sure things will go terribly wrong, I'm just going to pretty much prepare things in advance, okay? Right. Right, now, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop her an onion up. So I've got an onion here. I have a chopping board. And I'm going to cut this rubbish part of the onion off. Cut the other end off. Now, I know this is a waste, but this is the fastest way I can do this on camera. I would normally do it better than this, but never mind. I'm peeling the onion. Normally, I've lost some of the onion to do it because I'm doing it this fast. Now it just needs to be sliced, so I'm going to do that. out the way a bit so you can see me chop it better because it matters we're not perfect slices um. It's just going to be a bit difficult to slice this, so. And that's not what they asked for, but I'm going to just chop it up instead, so like this, so. I know it's not very professional, but there you go, this is, it's always difficult trying to cut the very last one. So there you go. That sliced onion, and now <laughs> put that into a container. Ready? <laughs> Hopefully, it will all fit. Right, so that's the onion dealt with. Now I'm going to put the lid on. This is just so that things are prepared in advance. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the mushrooms. So I have, as I said here, some chestnut mushrooms. Open up the packet. I'm just going to test the amount to be totally honest with you. I'm going to have about half a packet, so... 
I'm sure some people say you should just wash them but to be completely honest with you I'd tell them off um, it says do not peel no need to trim well I'm sorry but I'm going to do it anyway it may be a waste but so be it maybe this is absolute sacrilege what I'm doing by peeling them but I just don't care it may be a waste but that's life it's how I've done it in the past and as I'm doing this on camera I'd rather stick to what I know it may be a waste maybe it's completely destroyed all the flavoring but there you go that's what I'm willing to do because I've tried to wash these things in the past and to be honest when I've tried to wash them um, I don't think it's ever done such a good job so I've just come to the conclusion it's pretty much a lost cause just chop them off so that's one And chop the end off. All right, and that's another one. Just another couple to go. In the end, I didn't need such a big um. I got an extra bigger container just in case because I didn't have much I needed for the mushrooms or maybe I'll do more mushrooms I don't know but anyway again chop this off Okay, so how many more are left? So it's got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get another couple. So that's that. I'm 
Yeah, I forgot to chop this up a bit off. I forgot that. So, chop this bit off. And where you can do this a lot nicer, but I'm trying to do this at speed for camera, the camera, okay, on camera. <laughs> I'm right now, I'm just going to chop the um, mushrooms so they're meant to be sliced. So. Now, also, I think it's far too big to have them like this, so I usually chop them as well in half. So look like that. That's for the big mushrooms. For the smaller ones, I won't obviously do it in half. I'll just slice it, so... So that's... That mushroom done, another couple to do. I don't recommend you do it straight on your fingers unless you know what you're doing or unless you know the knife isn't too sharp, otherwise you might cut your hand, okay? So yep, they look okay so far. I'm just going to do two more mushrooms. I think I forgot to chop the end off this one, so I'm not sure, but I'm not willing to take the risk. So that do this right. there you go that's the mushrooms okay now, I wasn't sure how much it would need so I got a bigger container for the mushrooms It was probably a good idea for me to get the um, bigger container. I'm going to um, chop some tomatoes. Now you're supposed to peel them, but to be absolutely honest, I think it's a waste. I think it's a waste of tomato to do that truthfully. So I'm just going to get out a couple of tomatoes. This is where it's going to get very, very squishy. 
Okay. I'm going to open this up ready because it's going to get very sort of messy now, probably. The others are fairly dry. These are sort of moist inside, so. Again, meant to slice the tomatoes. There you go, that's one tomato done. Now I'm going to do a tomato. Um, that's a bit squishy, fortunately. It doesn't want to slice properly, this one. Sometimes they don't. Okay, so I'm going to put that. I'm going to scoop the rest of it and put this on them like that. Any bits will go. Right into that. Right, so that's the tomatoes dealt with. Now, the other thing to deal with now is the ham. And basically, I've never seen this kind of ham before. There's also later the um, chicken to deal with, but I'll worry about that separately in a moment. Um, there is what was the ham? Um, um, this one go. Right, got it. So this is the ham. I said I'm not sure if this is what you're supposed to do. It just says Foscuretto. Um, chopped, I mean, knowing my luck, it's probably something completely different to this altogether, but this is all I could guess. I mean, maybe they wanted... Um, what I would call lardens or something. I've no idea, but I'm guessing, right? Yeah. And they always say things like peel here as if it's so easy. Oh, it is actually. Right. So. Okay. I've never seen this before, so I've no idea what it even tastes like. Oh wow, they've actually put, um, they've even put a piece of special paper between each slice. So they've even put some sort of paper between each slice for some reason. I don't understand why. I've never had this before, so. Okay, here we go. I've got this. And it says, chop it, so. Um, I'm just going to cut it somehow. So I'm just chopping this up. I'm going to try a bit actually. So I remember. And it's a bit stiff, I will be honest. Um, it sort of tastes a bit strange. I mean, I know this is probably what's how it. That's a supposed to taste, but I'm not used to like 10 month old ham, to be honest, or whatever it is. You know, it is in date. This is how it's supposed to be, apparently. There you go. So 
that's one slice. I don't know how many slices of this there actually are, but I'm sure I need more than that, so what do I do with the thing? Um Yep, so there's six six slices, so I'm gonna have another one now. This is what I mean by I pull this out and then below this There's a slice of ham, and just below that slice of ham, there's another piece of paper, or whatever it is. And I'm going to put another one in as well. So now we've got three. Right, so this is this. Chop it all up. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but this is all I'm, I know, I'm afraid. I'm not used to this type of ham to be honest I'm used to ham which is a lot softer and you know isn't stiff to be honest or I mean because normally if ham looked anything like this and was this stiff normally it'd just be thrown away we'd just be considered past it and thrown away to be honest but but this is designed obviously to be like this so There you go. Right then, so this is all seems to be chopped up. So what do I do with this? Well, um, I'm going to put it in with the mushroom just because the mushrooms are dry and this is fairly dry at the moment and I think they will be done at roughly the same time anyway. So to put them in here. The only thing I haven't prepared now is the main chicken. That's that. So now I can start um, tidying some things up. Right guys, and these are the um, missing ingredients. This is some white wine. Um, There's not much left, I'm going to guess it to be honest. It says Sauvignon Blanc 2019 um, from New Zealand, okay? It's not an expensive one, it's just happened to be a cheap one that I got. Well, cheap by my standards, you know, it's not like a thousand of pounds, it might be like three or four pounds or something, you know. Um, 
and as well as that I've got some salt and I've also got um, some the salt and pepper I prefer to use black pepper um, so using black pepper doesn't tell you to use black pepper but that's what I'm going to use so there you go those are the um, I think the, then that is absolutely it to my knowledge there's no other ingredient at all so there you go guys so all I have to do now is chop up the chicken thighs and then that's all the preparation right so now I'm going to open up the chicken and I'm going to slice um, half of the chicken the rest of the chicken will go in the freezer okay and at curiosity this is actually it's just in date believe it or not I actually got this when it was in date but it's now the last day believe it or not I didn't buy it for the last day I just put it in the fridge for about a couple of days and so this is actually the last day officially not because I want it to be like this but just just turned out like this okay so now there's, there's five of them so I'm going to have two and a half so I'm going to put um, them on here I'm going to put one two three oh there's a little bit below so right so I'm going to cut about half of one of these and then put it back I forgot this is a bit awkward to cut so wait a minute I probably should have done this just um, the rest of it, never mind. So, what's <laughs> right, so that's a half? I'm going to put this half back so I put it back in there that's the half just put it back right so now I've just you're supposed to slice this but how I have absolutely no idea it says um trimmed and sliced <laughs> I've just sliced this maybe if I've got the most wonderful knife in the world I don't know this is top and to be honest I've never had fires like this before because when I've had fires I've just had them whole pretty much and then I've cut them up after or whatever when they've been cooked so I'm sure you know a chef somewhere is cringing and saying you need a better knife and they're probably absolutely right but this is only really I only use this normally for cutting um, vegetables and stuff you know Probably cut my hand off in any minute. <laughs> I 
Right, it's too difficult, so I'm just going to cut it as if there were cubes. Sorry, but there's a limit. I now understand why people put these things in a food processor, <laughs> to be honest. Because you can use a food processor to just cut these if you do it for a very short period of time. Without actually mincing it. Next time I think I'll just use chicken breasts because at least they're not as awkward as this. I don't think they were. It also would have been easy just to cut cook the thing then chop it truthfully. Never mind. This is what they tell you to do. Ridiculous but never mind. Look, I mean, it's like really stiff. <laughs> Maybe this is a better way of doing it. I couldn't imagine someone like Gordon Ramsay or, you know, Jamie Oliver taking this long to do it, but there you go, they probably got special chef's knives or whatever. This is really a salad knife, this is just meant for cutting tomatoes. And probably, a, you know, it's something better, but, you know, it's life. This is why normally I would cook it and then cut it because it's easier then. To be completely honest. <laughs> Coach, it's not as easy as show you on the telly, you know. They've done all the preparation work in advance, so... <laughs> You know, it gives people false hope as to how quick and easy it is to do these kind of things, you know? As I said, I'm pretty much cubing it. I don't care about their slices idea. It may look pretty. But and it may be the Italian way, but maybe they've got some special knives or anything. Right, so I'm going to try and see if I've done all this. I think I've done it all. Pretty much, I've tried not to cube it too much, but it's just really awkward. Um, how you can possibly cut this into nice strips, I've no idea unless you've already cooked it. There you go. Right. Anyway, I'm going to say that's good enough for me. So now, just in case anything goes wrong, I'm going to put it...
in here, okay? So. So it should hopefully now go into the plastic container. That's only so I just bring things into plastic containers just in case anything goes wrong. You know. Normally I wouldn't do this, I would never do anything like this. Truth, I'd just do it as I went along, but you know. Because I'm dealing with cameras and well, only one camera actually, but you know. Yep, so that's the um, chicken. Okay. So that should be all the preparation. And that should just be a simple matter now of actually cooking the thing. Um, right, okay. So that's that. Now I'm going to do the pasta. I'm going to um, put boiling water in, to put the pasta in, put some boiling water in. I'm going to take the pasta down the stairs to finish off. Um, just because I've got one hot plate and I'm trying to cook everything, okay? So I will now um, do things, but um, now I'll be using the iPod Touch to film it now, pretty much. And then I'll return to here to actually eat it, okay? Right. Right, I'm going to turn the cooker on. Now this is just symbolic to be honest, because I'm going to be doing most of the cooking of the pasta downstairs. Taking the lid off. I'm now going to put the pasta in, which is pen. There you go. Now I'm going to pour in the boiling water. Have a kettle. And now that's going to go downstairs, okay? While I do the rest of it. Alright, now I refer to it as a cooker. Technically it's a hot plate. But um, anyway, I've already seen it, so I'm just going to turn it up a bit. I'm going to put the frying pan on. Actually, it probably isn't such a good idea. Turn this up a bit so it comes on. Now you've got the frying pan. Now what I'm going to do is to have the um, butter that isn't butter. As I said, it, you're not supposed to use this particular type. This is just meant for sandwiches and simple things. They do state, to be fair to them, that it's not good enough for um, cooking, but I have no choice. I wasn't going to go out and buy some, some margarine just for this, so especially as I only want a small amount. So there you go, a small amount, that will go in there. It will do. It starts if I'm baking a cake or doing something really fancy. So, and with that, I'm going to add the olive oil. So, taking the top off the olive oil. And now, I'm going to pour the 
I'll sort that in. We'll come out a bit quicker in a moment. That will do, I think. Throw in the because the butter's melted pretty much, so I'm now going to put in the onions. I prefer to push these out, I'm sure. I'll say you shouldn't, but. You know, I just do, so it's easy to deal with later. Especially when they get stirred around, so. You're not meant to use your fingers, you're meant to use a spatula, but it's not hot yet, so. I can get away with that, but be careful, you shouldn't really do this. This particular um, tub of hot plate takes a while to warm up because it's a ceramic one. But once it is actually warm, it stays warm for quite some time. So, said you should use a spatula not your fingers so that's why I'm touching the top carefully I'm just giving it I'm going to do those for a bit longer. I'm just going to stop the filming and do it a bit longer. So. Mm. It's starting to get a bit warmer now, so... It'll be spatula time soon. I know it's not fully ready yet, but because I'm filming it and to make it easier for me, I'm going to start putting the ham in now. So this is bits of the ham, which I had in here, so I'm going to put bits of the ham in here. Again, you should use a spatula, not your fingers, but... I'm just going to use... I do have what, a spatula, I'm going to bring it up in a minute, but... I 
Okay, I'm gonna leave that for a while. Now, for my own reasons, I'm gonna use this special spoon type thing instead. Partly because the um, special needs washing and this is also easy to use with some things. I can scoop things if I want to, I can easily turn things over. So. Okay, so anyway, um, right, anyway, um, I'm not sure if that's it, so what I'm going to do, it's been going for a while now, um, Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I've got them doing things almost like bacon. So, now I'm going to put the mushrooms in. So I've got the mushrooms now. Pour the mushrooms in. To be honest, I think it's running out of oil, so I think I'd better put some more um, oil in. To be honest, because I think it's otherwise it's going to need a bit more, especially when I start putting in the um, chicken. I hope I got this round the right way. I think I did. Hopefully. Wait a minute. Right, um, I was actually supposed to put the chicken in first, but never mind, and um, before the mushrooms, it doesn't really matter, There's, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference, to be totally honest, so, well, we'll do then, I will scoop a lot of this out, Not something you should do, but going to do. This is not how you're supposed to do it, but my quick fix to solve this silly problem. I'm going to leave what small bits of there in there, so it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to pour the chicken in. The chicken is meant to go with other things, as I said, like all the... ...onions and stuff, but I think that will... ...put into flavour. I think that was really to flavour the, you know, the oil and the butter and things, with some of the taste of the ham.
and things like that, you know, so. I'm going to put this on very high, so. And we'll cook the chicken very quickly, hopefully. I want to do this exactly as it was in the book, but it serves me right. I got the order wrong. I thought it was the mushrooms and the um, mint. Never mind. As you can see, the um, almost the meat is um, quite going white. So the chicken meat is quite going white, so looking more like chicken. Right, so I'm not going to compensate for the fact that I took the um, all the others out by putting them back in now. I know I put it in earlier than I should, but that's to compensate for the fact that they were all meant to be in minus the um, mushrooms, and the mushrooms were meant to be added. Uh, right, so anyway, so that's a lot of the chicken done and the mushrooms so now Right now, I have the tomatoes, I'm adding the tomatoes. Now I'm going to have the tomato puree. It's a brand new tube, so because of that I have to um, to pierce it so with um I'm using a I'm using a fork to pierce the end. So now I can squeeze it out. I meant to use about a tablespoon as I said. I've never bought one with garlic already in it before. But I thought I would for once just to see. I'm 
it tells you to try and combine it, so you're combining the paste with the tomatoes themselves. So no, I just don't know. Mm. Right, now if I'm right, it's time to add the wine and other things, so let's see. Right now. Right, so now I'm going to add the wine. Now, the event to use a certain amount, but I just guess it to be honest, so. That's most of it gone. I have to get some more sometime. It says you're meant to, it's meant about half of it's supposed to evaporate. Soon be ready actually, so I probably haven't put in as much as you should, so because that's all I have, so. Also, I think it's a waste of good wine to make it all evaporate, so... And I suppose to put the cream in next, but I'm going to put the... Um, because I'm filming, I'm going to put the salt and pepper in next, so... But you're meant to put the cream in first, then the salt and pepper, but I'm going to do it the way around, just because... some salt now I've got the black pepper you can't see it but yes it does say black pepper and I'm going to there's not much left in here so I'm going to practically empty it you wouldn't normally do this but I'm, there's a lot in there now there's a lot of pepper so I'm going to stir it around a lot otherwise it will be Now I'm going to do
So now what I'm going to do is I've got the cream and I'm going to do all of this because otherwise it will go off. Because if it's heated up it will probably last a bit longer to be honest so Now pouring in all the cream. See it's now become a now become this pink colour because of all the tomato paste and other ingredients I'm gonna turn it down. should soon be ready for serving okay right now I'm going to drain the um, pasta so Real quickly, this is not how we do it, but this is only the easiest way I can do it to film it. So, and that's the pasta drained. And now, what I'm going to do. Just a minute. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put, sorry that was the problem there, I'm going to put the plate on here, just so it will temporarily warm the plate, I should have warmed the plate before but I haven't for filming purposes because it's, when you're trying to film things it's too hard so. And now I'm going to scoop some of this. the plate and now I have some of what would be the parmesan but I'm, I'm using porcerito instead and I'm just going to rip it open look I don't know if you can see that but I actually ripped it open so now I'm going to tap this on the top this is the grated cheese
and with the rest of it I'm going to put this in here for another day that's just some of the bits of um, mushrooms which didn't get done get cooked but it doesn't matter about that so I'm going to move this out of the way this is where it's going to be an absolute total pig This is one of the benefits of what I've using a spoon. And that can be reheated up the other days. And that's be too good to be true. I was doing so well as well. Never mind. And I'll wash that out later. So it's very difficult to try to film absolutely everything on your own. for now. The rest of it I'll just put onto the plate. Okay, right, so there you go, that's the meal. Now, I'm going to eat it, okay? Right guys, and now I'm going to eat it, okay? Not particularly helpful. Some of the practice found cold while I was trying to do what I did. Um, one of the disadvantages of not having a warm plate, but you know, I'm going to stir it around a bit, the um, pasta is getting warmer again. So yeah, so, yes, very juicy. And I'm going to try to hit this ham out because I'm actually surprised because earlier the um, ham was very, very stiff. But now the ham, truth it just tastes much, much better, so.
pretty sure I haven't forgotten anything, but now my luck I will have done. I might try the game in the future because I don't normally have creamy things with um, tomatoes. Usually, I either have things with tomatoes, like tin tomatoes, or I have creamy things. Things with cream, and I don't usually have both, so. It's much juice than I thought it would be. I mean, the your cheese is generally melted, so I can't. I mean, I didn't. Put some cheese on it. Most of the cheese has disappeared, so that gives me an excuse to disappear very briefly just to get some more. Oh. Yeah, because as I said, I mean, I don't need, I don't need this much um, cheese really, so. It's just unfortunately they always have play this game where they give you more than you really want and they keep increasing the amount they give you sometimes just to be awkward. Now you're supposed to use this up within three days but sometimes I put this in the fridge, something like this when it was palmist and I put it in the fridge sometimes for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm not sure you're supposed to do that, but that's what I had to do. Otherwise, it doesn't make a lot of financial sense sometimes because, you know, they always assume you're trying to cook for a family of, I don't know, six or something, and you're going to eat the same thing every single day. Mm. And then, this is typical. Italian food, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I'm surprised, I wished I'd tried this earlier, to be honest. If this is a real surprise for me. And then, In the future, I might just use cheap ham, not normal ham, not because um, I don't like this ham. I think it's very good for what it is. But 
Rings on your budget. Probably the safest stuff but for once. I thought I'd treat myself so you could see me doing it with all the proper ingredients. Even though I didn't cook it quite as it was supposed to do because I put the mushrooms in before I put the meat in. And the reason I do it sometimes I do try to do that. Sometimes you put the mushrooms in before other things and But I don't think it made any difference, I don't think. I think I made it for salvage it, so. I'm going to think there's a problem in the end. Um, Unless I've made a mistake, there's not a ton of herbs and things this time that you added to it. Because normally, a lot of these things you have lots and lots of herbs, and this time there were no herbs, surprisingly. So, unless I've missed it, in which case I'll cringe and get upset, but there you go. chicken and pasta meal okay chicken with pen okay um, and obviously it had things like tomatoes and and mushrooms and the ham and you know obviously the cheese as well so and other things but there you go guys thanks for watching bye